but the I earthquakes the earthquakes well, happen the, the, the warming of the of the Atlantic coast you know like you said the Atlantic Ocean is warming up higher temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean than ever before and now you got um, on the Pacific side California you have earthquakes going on this is uh -huh. a cleansing people need to understand that this has nothing to do with the wrath of God this has nothing to do with that this is not this is not uh, uh, um, over conspiracy theories. This is not that this no, all this is a clean mortality on finding your own salvation. That's what this is. You find salvation and the moral stance that you do right now, you by supporting Trump, you're gonna pay your you're gonna you're gonna regret it by being by living in sin and you're gonna have regrets for the rest of your life. If you vote for Donald Trump if you support Ted Cruz, you are um, you're supporting a man of faith. You're supporting a man of God. You're supporting a man of principle. You're supporting a man of integrity. You're supporting a um, a, a man of who a man who is who, who loves Jesus and who loves Christ. That's what we need in the, in 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 the leadership because. What does what does the what does the Bible say in the military Bible, in the U.S. Army Bible, and God we trust? Now there's that we can't even have a military Bible like that, like I have right now that says "in God we trust." That's gone. You cannot do that. It cannot have the military Bible anymore. "In God we trust" no. on a front cover. I have that book, and that's ten years old, and that's under George W. Bush. <laughs> I got that book under George, under George W. Bush. When George Bush was president, because he believed in, he's a man of faith, he's a man of God, he's a man of principle. He kept us safe for eight years. Trumpy, what is he going to do? He is going to complain. He's going to, he's going to say, I just did it. It's like the, it's like what we had the, uh, with the airplane that uh, uh, that went uh, crashing, you know, uh, this uh, two two weeks ago. He said it was a terrorist attack. It was a logical malfunction. Is what it was. We reported correctly. We said it might be it might be sabotage. It could be electrical malfunction. But we're going to wait until all the evidence come out, and then we'll call it for what it is. Did Donald Trump say it got blown out of the sky? It was a terrorist attack. We didn't say that, did we? We did not say that. We were very careful what we said because it could have been. I said this could have been a malfunction. Or this could have been a sabotage by uh, by a biological device where it caused the plane to go down, and we still don't know because they're still trying. And we still need to find a black box, by the way. So we're still holding off on waiting for the re for the final results. But as far as being blown out of the sky, that never happened. That's a flat out lie, and Donald Trump has done that several times now. And you know, remember. Oh, he 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 goes and uh, and says things before the evidence. He prejudges. Right. And sometimes he gets it right, sometimes he doesn't. But you prejudge his right to information. People that do that tend to get into situations which will be more dangerous than those that will wait to see to, to see what the situation really is. Well, so now he's evaluate he, the situation well, acting. Well, guess what? We actually did some we did some digging of our own, by the way. Um, to cure, uh, thank you so much for Newsmax and Edition Watch for giving us the information because we did some digging of our own. Uh, Donald Trump gave the Clinton Foundation, uh, you know, over uh, two point three million dollars. Was that right or something like that? Two point three million dollars. Is that right? I like that? Okay, okay. He did that, and guess why? Guess where that money went to when he when he when when he donated to the Clinton Foundation? Where did the money go to for the Clinton Foundation? Planned goes Parenthood goes, goes directly to Clinton's campaign. No, oh, went to Planned Parenthood, by the way. Planned, Planned Parenthood is also in the Clinton Foundation's pocket. That's correct. We did our homework and we exposed it just now on the air. So let me get that clear again for you because he interrupted me. I want to make a repeat this again for one more time for the listeners to tune in. What Donald Trump did for the Clinton Foundation, three point three two point three million dollars or three point two million dollars, whatever it was, it, he gave. The Clinton Foundation, that money, the money that the money that 
he gave to the Clinton Foundation, it went to Planned Parenthood. They turned the, the Clinton Foundation turned around, put the money back into Planned Parenthood for uh, uh, um, as a tax write-off for the Clinton Foundation. It's a scam. That's what this is. It's a big hoax. Um, where's uh, the Donald Trump super back on on the uh, on the on the uh, Fox News Network won't report this. However, we will. We will because why? Because we care. All lives matter. You know, we're not looking out for you. We are, in fact, looking out for America. We are, in fact, looking out for America. These are the words you will not hear on Fox News. You know, what happened to the little spin zone? I mean, he's, in Geraldo last night, I watched the factor. He was spinning. Bill O'Reilly didn't ever call him out. He didn't say the word spin anymore. You don't, he, he's never used the word, he hasn't used the word spin. He's supposed to be no spin zone. He hasn't word, he said you're spinning. Oh, I don't watch, I, I haven't been watching O'Reilly, uh, Fox News that much anymore at all. Yeah. Uh, it's very, because it's they, you know, it's they, it, it's, they uh, want into the pocket of Trump. They, they want the Trump, they want the Trump Hillary. They right. don't care who, who wins because of ratings. Right. And, and, and the people in this country is what's going to get destroyed. Yeah, I know. Just destroying votes, destroying also our our freedom of of liberty and freedom of vote too as well. Our own freedom to vote. They're they're telling us who to vote for now. They're forced feeding us a candidate. You don't do that. What kind of network does that? That's a violation. Did you know it's a violation? When when the when the, new, when the networks overspit their bounds, by the way, mm -hmm. is a violation. Of 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 uh, um of election fraud. That's what that is. As election fraud. Did you know that they violate election fraud? This is why and uh, this is why um uh, Andrea Banderas got fired. You know she she's in jail and now he got also now we have uh, uh another one is uh, is uh, Jill Banderas I think is what it is. Is that right or is it? Or anyway, it's, I'm not sure. yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, um, yeah, anyway, she, she's got, she's got her stuff caught in a cookie jar too. You know, this is why um, we have um, Jane Ainsley. You know, Amy Earhart left. You know, she's gone. She saw the right in the wall. Mm -hmm. and, but you got, and now you have, you got, now you have, um, uh, uh, you know, what is it? Leslie left, and then we have. Uh, uh, Ashley Arnhart, I think of what it is. I mean, this is this is getting this is getting crazy, it's crazy over at Fox News now, you know. Um, and you don't see too much of Cameron Blake info. No, oh, no, not Cameron Blake info. I, I'm sorry. It's Dina uh, uh, Dina uh, Perino. You don't see her anymore on a five either. Yeah. Uh, well, Dina Perino is fed up with with uh, with all the Trump stuff. Yeah. She, you know, she's not a Trump at all, and she doesn't want to be part of anyone that supports Trump because what Trump did to her boss and, and, her, and her family. Yeah, I know. And that's something. Why did Trump do that in the first place? You know, he attacked. In, in Trump, Trump can't win on issues, so he tries to destroy uh, personal attacks, innuendos, and crazy nicknames. Well, do you see the. the do you see the. Um, we posted up from the Inside Edition and National Choir, um, TMZ, uh, Inside Edition Entertainment Tonight. You see what we posted up? Richard Simmons is getting a sex change. Melina Trump is is has posed for Hustler magazine. That's correct. Did you see that? Did you see not see that? Yeah. Did you not see that? Yeah. Well, you know. That's, you know, it's crazy stuff. This is, is that, is that the kind of first lady we're going to have? So, uh, 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 first Lady and Hustler magazine? Yeah, well, you never know these days. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, that's, it models and values and personal, uh, you know. Uh, and Donald Trump talked about engine, personal each, integrity uh, out the window these days. Well, it, that's what, right. And if they, they're, Donald you Trump know, actually to talk to you to Christian Jericho today. Trump never paid the people he contracted out for. There's, uh, there's tons of uh, for, for, uh, for 
companies that are now suing him for back money that Trump owes. Right, and Denver, he ties you. And, 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 and uh, some people still now, uh, one of Trump's super PACs saying that Trump is not only not, uh, uh, doesn't have a lot of money, that he's no longer, that he's not a billionaire. He lied there. They think he's, they think he's barely a millionaire. Right. 